fallout from the tasing and arrest of an Alabama high school band director is sending ripples across the nation. Video of the incident after a Thursday night football game in Birmingham shows a chaotic scene. We're going to play some of that video now, and we should warn you that it may be disturbing to some viewers. In that video, police approach minor high school's band director Johnny Mims, who was leading his students as they performed into the so-called fifth quarter, a tradition from historically black colleges in which both teams' bands play dueling songs after the game ends. Officials can be heard asking Mims to stop playing, as he tells them they're on the last song. The stadium lights then go dark. And the situation escalates when Mims steps off the platform and officers begin trying to handcuff him. A physical altercation starts between the officers and Mims. Mims objects to being arrested and is then repeatedly tased by police. Joining us now is Johnny Mims and his lawyer, Wandalyn Gavan, who's also an Alabama state representative. Welcome to both of you. Thanks for joining us. And Mr. Mims, I want to begin with you because I'm interested in, in your perspective in that moment. We just saw on the video, multiple officers are asking you to stop playing. You're telling them it's your last song. They say we're going to call the superintendent. You say get out of my face. It just seems to escalate and escalate and escalate. And I'm just wondering what you're thinking in that moment. Did you... Did you consider I should stop playing? In the footage, you see I'm directly in front of the band, so I'm pretty much trying to give guidance to the band. It's very difficult to give that uh, if you have persons in front of you. So I know it seems as if it was as simple as just cutting the band off. Um, uh, I have also been kind of making it clear to everybody, uh, there's a group of band in front of me. So I have 145 students total uh, of that group. It is split. So I have a half uh, majority of the group in the stands, and then I have another portion of the group on the floor. So there's a certain coordination that has to happen bef for the band to be able to stop. And that's pretty much what you hear. So you hear, you see an officer reaching over, over the uh, fence. Uh, telling me I need to, you know, stop playing or I, we need to leave. And so you'll hear me gesture to that uh, to that officer, please, you know, uh, uh, get out of my face in a in a way to make sure he's able to move out the way so that I can give proper instructions uh, to the students because they were obstructing my opportunity to do that. And so uh, that was my mindset. Again, I'm, I'm uh, responsible for making sure that I'm able to properly coordinate uh, everything with the group. And again, I had the group because we're such a larger group. That group was split over two different sections. Mm -hmm. And we see also on, on the video, officers start to then say, you're going to go to jail. You give a thumbs up and, and say, that's cool. Did you expect them to try to arrest you afterwards? And, and that thumbs up was you know, uh, really was my, my way of just trying to go ahead and let them know, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to wrap it up. And in a sense of I hadn't done anything. You know, I, that, if, if you look really on, on my face, more importantly, uh, I was just pretty much mostly knowing that I hadn't done anything. So I, I, in my head, I'm like, it's, there's no reason why they, they would take me to jail when I haven't done anything. I'm pretty much doing exactly what my job requires me to do, which is direct uh, direct the band. And so that's the that's the, the gesture you got back from me. And again, uh, it, it's very difficult to see that from the body cam, but on the other side of that cam is that, that the officer, you know, making gestures and threatening gestures at me why this process hasn't happened. And unfortunately, you can't see that. But that is that is the that is the reason why you see me saying, okay, okay, that's that's you know, uh, that's cool because I'm trying to find a quick way to go ahead and get them out of the way so that I can go ahead and, and uh, get the uh, the band uh, to finish up the last tune that we were doing, which was really only 10 or 15 or maybe 30 seconds from being completed. Ms. Gavan, we've all seen the video of your client was tased multiple times after that. He's now been charged with disorderly conduct, harassment, and resisting arrest. You're calling for all the charges to be dropped and for the police who tased Mr. Mims to be suspended. What has the response been like so far from the police department? Uh Oh, wow. The response from the police department, of course, was their initial response. Of course, they own no fault in what happened to my client. Um, uh, however, they have not been able to produce not one uh, showing of body cam. And I'm glad you mentioned the body camera. What you all, and I started sending out to the general public, excuse me, to the press yesterday. I actually, on Tuesday, received uh, the various pieces of footage uh, in different angles of the body cam. And what you all received or what went out uh, viral on Monday that was uh, 
sent out by the Birmingham Police Department was an edited version of the body cam. And so I started then, however, looking at uh, as many different angles um, that I received from the city attorney because they were somewhat shocked initially that the Birmingham Police Department released that that body cam without advice of the city attorney. That's number one. And that's when I realized they released it for the purpose of trying to get ahead of the story to uh, make the public or p no more than a ruse to the public uh, because they wanted to get ahead of it to make it appear as if they were innocent. Mr. Mims, you've mentioned previously how hard it was to know all of this was unfolding in front of your students. And we can hear on that video some of their screams in the background as this is unfolding. Tell us about if you've talked to any of them, if you've heard from any of them, and, and what those concerns are based on. Um, um, we, we've, of course, I've, I've had many students, alum, uh, alumni students I've taught in the past, many students. And I think the, the biggest thing for everybody to understand, for, the, for these students, alumni, parents, uh, the community, the band community, many people are having just, they're having a hard time grappling of why they would, of course, uh, tase a uh, educator in front of the students. And more importantly, for something to, uh, as simple as the band was playing a song and was uh, towards the end of the song to complete. I mean, it's, 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 it seemed like it's, it's, very, it's a very minor thing that led up to me being tased multiple times. And, not, and I think that's the thing that most of the students and everybody's trying to grapple with. Uh, out of the whole, out of all of the situation, uh, you know, I was I was the person that that received all of the uh, all of the tasing, the the you know the the rough th threats and all of the different things that came from uh, the police department, and and that's not that's not acceptable. And as you can see in other uh, interviews from parents uh, that were there, you could see that a lot of those uh, type of things, as in regards to threats, the aggressiveness from the police department happened even uh, while we were getting there. As soon as we get off the bus, they were, they were already experiencing those things. And so it was just not acceptable. And it's something that should have never have happened. Um, you hear the officer say, hey, I'm going to call your superintendent. That would be the process of what should have happened. It should have been a contact of a superintendent uh, so they could get in contact with my uh, my administrator and administrator would have communicated that to us well in advance, which would have prevented all of this. And more importantly, we have to also keep in mind, making sure we uh, somebody turned off the lights. That further uh, caused a uh, confusion among the students, parents, and the fans that were there. That is Johnny Mims and his lawyer, Wandalyn Gavan, who's also an Alabama state representative, joining us tonight. Thank you both so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. Um, thank you so much.